that in Silence of the Lambs is the same actor who does the detective, the lead detective on Monk. Oh yeah, he's in a ton of stuff, and he's yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah. does humor pretty well for being a serial killer dude, <laughs> he does. tucking his goodies between his legs like that and dancing around. <laughs> That'll affect you for life, whether you're acting or not. That's a good movie. It's a fantastic book too. Oh yeah, I hear about that. Uh, there's a series, right? Yeah, All of yeah. those are in a huge series. Uh, and, uh, and doesn't she end up killing people with him eventually? No, no, no. no. At the end of Hannibal, uh, it basically like instead of like in the movie, like he just runs away. Yeah. But in the in the in the books, he kind of like twists her to that they're kind of yeah weirdly, the train. Weirdly, they're weirdly together they, they it, it implies that he stops killing people and they kind of like move to europe or whatever yeah yeah it's f- fucked up <laughs> <laughs> absolutely oh hey so uh how do i see our chat i uh, pulled that up question. down oh there's there's no one in there yet oh well, all right. Well, then I'm not too worried on. about things. Hey, uh, so that? did you send out anything that says we're on? It just goes on Facebook. Oh, uh, right. yeah. I, I, uh, I just turned on Facebook, and that was the first thing that popped up was the fact that we're live. And all I'm right. Not, well, we'll have to get right now. We'll have to get to this stuff. Oh, Emma's oh, here. God. And Emma's here already. She stinks. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Hello, Emma. Hey, Emma. We're, we're happy to have you. Uh, uh, we, we won't probably be doing the 10 minute long giggle fest this week. Uh, yeah, Josh, be good. <laughs> I will. Oh, I will a few here and there. That's for sure. All right. Hey, Jason, did you have anything or hear anything about um, a fellow player in our clan that we kind of called out? And I've never I've never done this on the show before, but I and, oh, oh, I, oh, I, I was like thoroughly in, pissed. In Iron Order, yes, and that's yeah. the reason I'm bringing it up in my Iron Order, <laughs> which I very much am happy to be a part of. Uh, oh the Iron Order is becoming vast, but I will not stand for yeah. Iron you know, Order fellow Iron Order people breaking our principles the way this person was. But uh, OG. What was his name? Come on, man, help me out. What was his name? Eddie? I'm not. I'm not starting. I'm not starting something. I'm not gonna. I'm not All gonna. Right. Well, then, never mind. Uh, well, I well, am, and I'm a way. little pissed well, this off at this person. This is, this is the way I see it. Yeah. R- regardless of of whether, whatever he was doing and what I think he was doing, I don't think he was actually tanking. What I think he was doing was time dropping. <laughs> well, All right, that's that's what a lot of people have been doing. Yeah, it is. People, when they don't well, get them, okay, I get that. Time, time dropping you do with full squads of six, though. You well, do not. Were five. He was when I saw them, they were doing it with, with four. Yeah, and you can't uh, do it that way because you're getting yeah, other people yeah. involved that shouldn't be there. And you know, all I know is, is uh, I played way, against him a couple of times, and he gone? <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> all they did was just lay down, and. It was just a waste of everybody's time, no, and it's, there's it no is. nobody should be uh, will part say. of the plan if that's in their byline. So I, I hope that Sorry. at least somebody got called out on it. You know, I will so, say on. though. Okay, what? Josh? Right, no, go, 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 go. Okay, did you did you see the video I posted what yesterday? Yes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was I was watching it like like 15 minutes ago, but I didn't get to finish it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So basically, it, it ended up like I, I hopped into the match, but it was basically like the 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 finder was trying to find somebody to fill in that void because it was a five person squad that that dropped, mm-hmm. and I was I was I was what popped in alone, and it ended up being against the Nemesis boys, and Warboat was with them. <laughs> it ended up, I ended up killing Warboat, and then with me and Lord Nikon were were going back and forth, capping Beacon E on Springfield together. So I oh, capped nice. it, and he'd go away, and then he I'd go away, and he'd come in and cap the Beacon, and we just like capped the Beacon, and then the whole team like they weren't even a full squad; it was like other squad people came in, and they were all just watching us cap the Beacon, and they were just, it was great, it was amazing. But you get crap like that when you when you create tasks that are unattainable. 
Yeah, that's the average, or not well, even average. Like, I, I know this, uh, this, this one, this event's better than last event. Barely. You have to admit it. Last event, it was like you had to win like 30 matches in order to get a Magnum. You or still something have like to. That. And no, dude, like, I, I, like, I win probably like <laughs> one of six matches. <laughs> and I have to be in squads. Oh. oh no, but, I, I don't believe it's quite that bad. Your numbers aren't that bad, buddy. My hey, numbers I, are that pretty bad. 44, and it's high. 44 is high for me right now. Yeah, I'm about fifty something, fifty two, fifty. Okay, so shut up. <laughs> hey, so when you were telling when you were telling me about the time dropping and and OG dropping, yeah, um, I saw the this one cat and I have video of it too. It's two, it's like two and a half minutes long with with I think it was Android and um, the 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 other guy uh, three three four five. I can't remember his uh, his IG. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's uh, but. So we were running, and then no one was dropping on the other side. And then all of a sudden, this one player drops. And that one player was – it had um, – I don't know what the, the language is, but it's it was – you can tell it was like it China. China and I, yeah, something like that. And and this dude was running, like – and he was running and gunning, running and gunning. He was fighting off four other players – or, yeah, four, four other players – me, I'm like sitting up in the in the side, like just like watching this whole thing happen, and everyone's going after this guy. <laughs> this guy was he 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 would he would drop into his next spot after he got killed, and, and I could only imagine the way that he sound like Chris Tucker in Fifth Element. No, not yeah, Chris, yeah Fifth Element. <laughs> in, uh... No, yeah, it was it Fifth Element. Yeah, he was like, hell no, man. Uh, that's that's the beginning of what you say. I've been on that end of it, man, and that's why I don't like it. Uh, what weirded me out when I dropped in with those guys is that he had a he was uh, squatted up with four people, and one of them <laughs> too serious. <laughs> yeah, one of them stayed in to fight and was like, uh, "I'm not gonna be a puss." Yeah, he was like, "Oh man, yeah, I yeah. like that though." We're doing it. That's uh, yes, Emma, uh, like. Emma uh, for those of you who can't see, and this will be turned into our podcast, uh, oh, so it will go all the way audio. Uh, we have, in, I have spoken with Emma, and Emmy wants to come on. I do believe she's just saying, I think she's saying, yes, I'd like she, to come on now. Yeah, she's just talking smack. She's not Yeah, gonna, well, she I'm really taking it now. as getting your rear end on here, uh, time difference or no. I, I know you stay up late, it's, and it's according to her, she enjoys her wine too. So it's that tea, be it's tea time over there. They they yeah. make the teas around campfires. Well, her tea is made oh, of grapes. Is, is she? Pretty- <laughs> and so I hope she'll enjoy a little bit of her special tea before we have her on because we want her to have fun. No. Is she is she British? British. British. Uh, I believe so. Yeah, I believe so. Emmy, you are British, are you not? She Come on, girl. British. I don't, I don't like this food. It's so, it's so small. It's like you have this bread and then you have this meat and it, it, you fold it and it, it doesn't it doesn't work. <laughs> One day I will join you, me being a girl. Yes, well, I want, it, I want a female to come on the show. I had trouble getting a maiden on. Uh, one, one of the uh, their leadership suggested really. a maiden <laughs> and my maiden, she then was going to come on and then decided not to. And over that amount of time, it just... It got to be where I just couldn't get anybody, and I have not been able to get a hold of Foggy either. So that's and the only reason they're not here. It's not for me know. not trying. And you're missing a hundred dollars off your dress, and your daughter's not. Yeah. Emmy's a, Emmy's our British Rose. She's uh, she's out there beating ass against all the Reds. Yeah, British she put hold her own. That's for sure. I have you guys. Have you, guys any more bots you know, from, from well, I, I wanted oh, to bring oh, up oh, Jason. Oh. Jason went. He not only did he play hooky from work last week. Uh, well, and no, really well, sorry. your trophies were crazy out of you know, you were like double your normal game pushing, play. uh, easy triple. I was pushing, I was like three matches away from a thousand activity points. Well, I really wanted to bring it up because you've <laughs> now had substantial time with your dash bots, and after not having them and now having them, okay, there's fine. been a okay, there's been a different, uh, not uh, yeah, overall attitude, a different little swing in your step as far as the WR universe goes. And you are 
having a little more fun. I think those dash bots are fun, aren't they? They are. And it's funny that you mentioned that too. I'm going to be doing a video because as I've been playing uh, so much, I've been discovering new ways. And I'm actually, I've already gotten in touch with Warboat on a, on a collaborative effort with Good. new, with new dash bot zooms of things that I've found new that he didn't put in his first video. Then he's found some more that he's done. So just in my active playing, I found more, more of them that I'm going to be showing. It's going to be awesome. Uh, yeah. I talked to Warboat recently too. And I told him he needs to make more of those videos where he's showing some of the secrets of the dash. Cause he knows where all of them. Hey, Michael. Uh, I found, I found some, I found another one on Yamatau. I found two on moon map. And I found map. one on Spitfield too. I find those on accident. I'm thinking yeah. I'm just going well, like, like, to shoot off there, like, and two primitive. inches and then fall straight down and then have to wait the extra time when I land. And well, then I whenever I do it on accident, I end up overshooting where I wanted to go yeah. and like go <laughs> right into the open and like, word, this is the way it's going to happen. Well, yeah, Yamatao has got the best. Uh, it, and if easily, you go from the, the top one. of the one side, you can shoot perfectly onto the ramp. It's, it's, it's effing phenomenal. It's great. You just shoot right to it and you're like, bam, here, right up to the top. So, Emma, you, you want to come on? Bot, but <laughs> hey, can you, uh, hey, uh, Emmy, if you can get your information to Drupy, we'll give you a call. She... she wants to come on. If you can get your information to Drupy so he can get it to you, uh, I'm not going to promise you this is our first night doing this, but uh, if, he, if he can send you a link, we'll get you on here, girl. I know there's a slight delay here, so you're going to get this in about 30 10, seconds or so. Seven, see by fire, the signal's really bad. Uh, and then, uh, you know, um, I don't know how to say, is it Mikhail or Michael, Michael, uh, that uh, was just saying hi there. I don't know how to say your name correctly, but, but you're a fan of the show and I've seen, yeah, I've seen him play or I've seen him, uh, excuse me, I've there seen his name on Facebook and whatnot. Well, you know, he's, he's the, he's the big drop. That's where his IGN is in, uh, in the game. <laughs> okay. He, he also drop. had a, had a run in with, with uh, that drop-in mess that we were talking about earlier. <laughs> well, I saw he, a picture of his screw. Was it your screenshot? <laughs> you were like, hell no. Yeah, hey, big which drop. Which one of y'all is this? <laughs> yeah, yeah I, big drop, I, I was what, just pitching earlier about that, dude. I, um, I dropped in against him, too, OG Eddie, and I, I was trying to figure out, first of all, if I should call him out because, you know, if it's legit and he's not meaning to do any harm, then that's one thing. But if he's... If he's tanking or if he is, even if he's time dropping sloppily without etiquette, I mean, you can't just time drop and like involve time drop. a ton of people. It's because I'm ignorant. I'm At ignorant. least that's my thought. I'm no, I know, I'm no, you know, what I say yeah, did not like not the, fun. yeah. I will, say, I will say the only benefit of it is if you need those damn wins and you pop in and the other team dropped and that's a free victory for you. Well, if you've got that's six nice. on six, like one of our favorite clans was doing and they're all really good at it. Uh, by the way, you're really lucky. Lord Nikki was ready to do that with you. Cause that's one formidable player to go up Dude, against. He has killed me. Yeah. So he's many. an incredible player. Yeah. He like, he oh and God, beefcake, I, was dude. I was recording a video oh, yeah. one time and he like freaking like just owned my car and I was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Time drops aren't needed with custom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Do sure. They, do they work with custom games? Can no. Custom games, games, you can't get the rewards. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say. yeah but if you've got six, really if you've got a full squad of six and another full squad of six, especially, and you then you're doing it button. right, you and you're doing both, it the, you the best the way at the same time. But I still can't agree with it because you're trying to go around the rules of the game, and you're trying to. Well, the 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 really crappy part was is the way. The way this guy was doing it, right? I know Big Drop, you're probably going to agree with me because I think you had the same. I'm not going to put words in your mouth, but I believe you'll find it's the same way. They were doing it kind of like they were tanking, you know, because if, they, if, if it wasn't to their liking, you know, they weren't getting their tasks done. They were just tanking at that point. I mean, if you don't play well, they or you just ditch out. level two. Hey, hey, yeah. I don't, well, the way. system doesn't recognize it. It's though. the grandmaster. It yeah. Oh, hey, Papa, what's up? Uh, Alex, uh, hello. By the way, this is my off week without a guest, and that means I'm searching for a guest this week. And Papa is on my list. And if Papa can't make it, he better. Uh, you know. Yeah. See, now I'm calling him out here, so everybody knows that it, I'm going for him. And if he's not on next week, it's because of his doing. So. <laughs> 
and nothing like throwing Papa under the bus. Some admin work. Well, yeah, I told you. Well, I always like to have a, a fresh show in between the show we had somebody on, if I can. That way, uh, I, I don't know. It's just always felt nice that way uh, until I become such a huge star that, uh, you know, these guys have to line their eyes when we get on here. Until that time, I suppose I'll just have to go with what I know. Um, hey, what you guys did? You guys do the test server uh, this weekend? No. This I week? did, but I only got to play like three matches. It wasn't. Hey, there's a Brazil. Game. There's okay. a boy. I did notice that the Redeemer was still going through a physical shield on the Lancelot, and but the Vortex, the Vortex was still doing almost nothing, like just like nothing. But the the gust was doing more damage. Like they didn't change the damage settings at all. But the gust was doing more damage. They fixed something, or maybe like lowered the spread of it, because it was actually doing something a little bit farther away. But the vortex is just a piece of garbage. Like it's not. Yeah. It's not registering damage or something. Is yeah. it not registering, or is the? Do you know what its intended damage is supposed to be? It's like nineteen thousand, or I, I, I can pull it up. Really quick. Yeah, my yeah. level eleven aphids are like, dude, yeah, or eighteen thousand if they all not. land. Well, this kind of brings up. I don't want to get away from this, Jason, but this kind of brings up a little bit about the storm. Uh, until you find that, Jay. Okay, uh, nineteen. The the vortex huh? at level eight. Its range is three hundred and fifty meters. Reload is ten seconds. Which the range and the reload time feel really well. I like the I like that balance. But their damage at level eight is supposed to be nineteen thousand six hundred and twenty. Now I'm assuming that's a full a full salvo, all rockets hitting. I don't I don't know what I'm seeing. Yeah, but when it's the flag when, of Brazil, I'm waving at our buddies wow. that are chatting at us. <laughs> but the, the thing about this weapon is it like with aphids, like they they kind of like go and then they kind of curve and, and and hit. But like yeah, with the video I did last weekend, it like comes in it spreads out as it goes in it's really really weird but when it right. hits so it, it hits, expands it and hits, contracts like yeah like it, it kind of goes out and in and out and in but the farther you are away the bigger it, it goes if you're really close it's like a, a smaller thing but it hits dead center of each bot and it hits really clustered together so you're does not it, missing anything okay does it, it uh, do anything does it ignore physical shields or not no it hits like the front and center shield what about energy shields it, no, it, it's just That's like regular aphids. Say, actually, it, energy. Just like aphids, it'll hit the shield. It won't go through it. I have experiences with both um, aphids and especially hydras. So proud of you. That my energy shield does nothing with. You know, it's a weird bug. Like if your energy shield is low, then it then just bypasses it all together. It's coming in. Well, and like how many um, how many thousands of HP? Well, like it really? should still like protect you still, and you're like, I have blue on my bar still, so that shouldn't be hitting me. Well, it's worse on a test server, like with last week and this week. Yeah. It. it I, I mean, I don't want to go through all of what I said in the video, but basically, like the bar comes back, like it goes away, like your shield goes away, and then the shield bar comes back. So is there a delay some, in uh, what's it, registering maybe? It seems to be because then the blue bar comes back inside that bar. So like you have Ansel, but no, it's right. not popping up and not blocking anything. Well, what I, I, uh, what's you know. kind of pertinent to today that I really want to discuss, not at length necessarily, but I want to get in there is the storm weapon. And one of the reasons I feel like we need to talk about this is that this is a new weapon that is silver. And I believe... The that this weapon, weapon, yes, the 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 mini thunder, the shotgun weapon. The storm weapon's not silver. I didn't I, know. Oh, it it's, it's components, isn't it? It's components. Excuse yeah. me. Uh, anyway, yeah. uh, it's one of the easiest <laughs> to get. Yeah, Josh just. Started. It is super easy. Uh, only it's one of the e it's super easy to get, but be because the thunder is a silver weapon, and it's kind of a complement to that. But, um, I. I I just don't want this weapon. I don't want it to be overpowered, but I don't think I, I, I think it would be a shame for this weapon to just be an also ran as far as all the other weapons. I don't want it to kick everybody's excuse me, rear end, but 
if it's just really not very effective and no one chooses to use it, um, then, we, you know, what good is it? Uh, have you, we can't have, have you not it. seen Adrian's test of it? No, I have. I watched both of those today, and I thought that uh, his test of it was pretty decent. But, you know, those are maxed out, uh, and that's with Adrian. I think this is a weapon that needs to be able to be used by everyone. Um, and I and I was wondering, anybody out there, now that we have this type of forum, well, we can hear from you. Have any of you started to use it yet? And do you find it effective? Um, obviously, the shock train is extremely effective. Uh, you know, many of the weapons we've gotten recently have been very effective. The Ember, very effective. Uh, I think and the you, Ember you don't want it to be an also-ran weapon. Well, I'm, I'm really scared that people are going to go, the Ember is too powerful, the Ember is too powerful. And it's really not like I think the Ember. I think the Ember and the Inquisitor are the most balanced weapons to balanced weapon and bot to come out in a long time. Josh, talk to me about what you feel about that kind of balance right now. It's about what balance? Well, what you, what are you not listening? What you talking about, Willis? You, you really make me feel as if you hey. don't love me as much as you it's tell not, me when you okay. come up with stuff like hey, that. You, you know, my brother's ADD, man. It's bad. <laughs> No, <laughs> like when I'm a, when I'm playing when I'm playing the game, I'm like like Doug the dog. Like if you saw me, imagine how dizzy you would be if you were actually inside the bot that I was controlling with my thumbs. You'd be like, oh 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 oh, like like that. What is that movie? Uh, an intruder? Up, no, up. no. Up I, with a dog. It was in the '80s. I think it was in the oh. '80s when a guy goes into that little capsule inside the person's body. Inner space. Inner space. Yes, with the yeah. with the guy with the hair. Yeah. Imagine being inside. Dennis the Quaid and uh, Martin Short. Doug the dog, man. ADD, bad. No, I, <laughs> I haven't. I haven't. I haven't used. I have not used the storm. I didn't like yesterday. Last weekend, that yeah. just passed. That was the first test server that I think I've really. Yeah, inner space. Yeah. yeah, it was inner space, and I really like the gust. I think that's the gust. Yeah, you did. Okay. Weapon. See, these new weapons, I, I just, I, I don't want any of them to be also rans. I just, I want them to be tactically viable. And, you know, we, all our bots and all our weapons always need to maintain a basic idealistic formula for the game to work correctly and keep its balance and its forte of rock, paper, scissors. And yeah, now but we're, it goes you know, back to that question, all has like, to be what ba is balance? What, what yeah. is balance? And it has, it has to have tactical advantages in certain areas, but really must be vulnerable to others. It can't just be another scissor or another rock. It has but to balance, be different. Balance can be in, in this case, because we're not mm -hmm. talking about, you know, you know, trying to balance something on top of something like my, my phone on my finger. You know, we're talking about balance in a game that can be very subjective on what you feel balanced is. Because if a person who really sucks running a bot and like, let's say somebody really sucks and they're running the high chi and they just die all the time and they don't feel like it's, it's overpowered at all. But then in the right hands, the high chi is extremely overpowered. It, it, it's subjective when you say balance. Yeah. But I mean, if you think, if you think about all the balancing, see, so you can see my little, <laughs> the balancing it, it seems like every single time that there is a a balance correction it favors a specific playing style and it's always a different playing style like it was whatever the, the current meta is the meta, dictating yeah, it was brawlers the 100 percent it was statistical analysis to support this yeah. that it's yeah. all about brawling and then brawling became such an issue for the, those with the support bots and the mid range, and then all of a sudden it became now the mid range has its favor. No longer the brawling, no longer the, and still no longer the camper. And then a rebalance happened, and then it favored the camper, not the brawler, and not the support, uh, not the mid range. And so it seems now it's now back into like the mid range, if not closer to the brawler. Have you noticed that the matches seem to be like a little bit more like, it, it's almost like it's uh, all what's that game called what's that game called uh, oh, did uh you see, survival did you, see, did you see emma was trying to 
Yeah, yeah Emma, not... Emma is trying to get on, but yeah, yeah, she's giving me these sad faces. I'm like, why are you gonna be giving me sad faces? She's like, I don't know, just making. She's me trying sad. to I'm get like, on. Why are you? Why are you sad? You're, Talk to if me. If you're gonna use it on, uh, if you're gonna use Be Live on your computer, you need to use Chrome. Yeah, you have to yeah. use Chrome. Safari won't work. Use and, Chrome. That helps. And, and, and Papa, Chrome. by the by the way, Papa, uh, we did see what you posted there. We have about a 45 second delay from what we're talking about to what pops up. So sorry if we didn't answer you right away there, buddy. But uh, yeah, I did see that your answers pop up there. But there is a delay, so we've sorry we didn't get to it instantly. But go ahead there, uh, Drew. So now Jason was about to say something. Oh, please. Oh, it's just gone like that. Okay. I no idea. Well, these, <laughs> out of these new weapons, we've got it. We've got to be able to have ones that uh, came are me. viable. We can't have some also rands. There has to maintain the balance. And I hope that the storm gets used because I like the idea of it. You I don't know? know. I struggle to find the the point of the gust. The storm Sick, is good. Okay. Don't. Okay. So don't hate on the gust, man. I was having. I'm not, it's it's like I said. It's a lot better this time around. Like it was doing. I, I I threw four on a Jesse. I saw everyone. Everyone does the exact same thing when they fire. They push the red button. That's it. And then they just walk around and aim. That's it. They don't they don't stagger their shots. I mean, come on. This is Adrian Carnage Thunder One Hundred and One. Man, you stagger your shots. Man, it is <laughs> a tick tick tick. It actually sounds like that. Tick 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 tick. Instead of tick tick tick. What? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> well, especially when you're paired up. When you're paired up, especially you've got it. You, yes. There are certain shots, there are certain course. ways to attack stuff, and um, uh, that's one life. thing I've always noticed about on Facebook is guys don't they they don't get on Facebook on and, and complain plenty or say well, check mm. out my video and that's cool, but no one gets on Facebook and says much about this is how you play better. You know, yeah. maybe watch my video, but this is except Warboat. Warboat's little instructions on the best places to make your dash go down those little warp lanes, those wormhole lanes you can find, and those are awesome. Uh, you know, other than that, there aren't many people saying things out there like, uh, here's a video on, and check out the two of us together on tactics. Uh, John Game Center does that more than anyone. That. I was going to say, he does more than anyone how to, how to do that, and then... then Stu's old instructional videos were really, really good. Hey, hey, hey Ryan, let's go, hey, Ryan. On. Yeah, they're definitely tough. They they're tough to make because they Night take Emmy. so long. They take so long that you don't. It, it's like um, you just want to slap them together. And this is just, I'm a testament to that. They take so long to make just in general that having some like you know tactic like improving tactics and stuff like that's like you you find that. You can't do it just by yourself. It has to be a collaborative effort with other people that are mm -hmm. creators. If that, if not, uh, other players that you can squad with that can get in the video and on comms so that you can kind of coordinate everything. Because it's not just about going in and just shooting the video and saying, "Oh, this is how you do this move, and this is how you avoid this this bot, and when to counter, when to jump, when not to jump, all that stuff." It takes a long and man, it's tough. It really is, especially when you're solo. Truly. Soloing anything right now is tough, but uh, big drop. Yeah. Uh, so you like the regatta with Gus and Orkin? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. You're Gus changing up, uh, changing up, like weapon types like that. But why, why does it? Why does it work so well? Gus well, it'll take him 45 seconds to answer. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Time. Do, 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 do. So how far along did you get on your task? Because you really went after it. I'm still – well, I have not been able to the past couple of days, but I am on the Trident right now, which means mm -hmm. I need – what is it? Six or – I think it's nine wins right now. I'm like step three of five on the Trident. So are all of you able to not purchase gold for several days and then end up getting these deals where you're like 485% profit? Is that pretty common now that if you go ahead and not buy stuff – that you can expect to, to uh, <laughs> still on the magnum. Yeah, if you can expect to get that. Um, oh yes, there's tasks. Oh, there's tasks. Many, many tasks. And I, you know, there was a new task that popped up. It wasn't a task; it was a bonus kind of task. What is this task that pops up every okay. now and then, where it says you 
purchased like a couple of dollars worth of stuff. If you purchase a few more dollars worth, you get 200 gold. I saw Have you that. Seen that. I saw that. That I was so that. strange. That was really weird. It was an incentive to keep spending money. And I've only seen it just the one time. Didn't it work? Yeah, yeah. well, it worked. I bought it. <laughs> I already bought what I wanted. Call me an idiot. There's no more dollar. There was no more dollar deals. I'm not going to buy five dollars to get like five dollar Fujin to get like another another thing. Give you my yeah, Uber Eats. It's kind of like when you when you do that little spin thing and yeah. you win fifty gold, but you have to pay eight gold to get the fifty gold. So you're only walking away with forty two. It's like, damn, dude, why don't you just tell me you got forty? I've won forty two, man. Based House. on regulations, why can't you just be yeah. real with me? I, I won it's 42, a, not 50. Hot, <laughs> so hot, hot buttons, and I won 50. I won 50, but I paid I paid eight gold for 50. It's, it's all about the hot damn, perception. Damn it's rip about the perception. They want you to feel like you're getting more. That's why they were the, having the gold take away after you got your prize on the other one because they wanted that perception that you actually had more than you have. Hey, guys, uh, somebody asked me something today that I wanted to pose a question to you on Discord. Um and, you know, it, it was a question that's been bantied about to me before, but for some reason this time, I listened more seriously instead of just saying to myself, oh, yeah, you know, people have said that. This time I was like, you know, that's a, it's not a bad idea, but I think it's a good idea, but I don't think it should happen today. And that is MK2 should be a league of its own. Yeah. I thought you were about to say MK2-2. <laughs> That's what I thought you were about. I was like, bruh, we need to talk. <laughs> you actually, actually, actually this, this afternoon, I, I, I almost did that to you. Man, but I'm I, having I, a heart attack. I'm like, there's a, uh, a bunch of green muscle men running around here. Man. I well, think I think that, you know, we've, said, we've said that before, though. Like, MK2 people, like, yeah, right? you have one single piece of MK2 equipment in your hangar, you should automatically be set aside and not able to play with anything lower. Well, than and they'll players. tell you there aren't enough of them um, to out. be able to play. To be able to play with, you know, the the games would be <laughs> an hour in between each game, and I get that, man. So but, everyone can see this foolishness. MK2, yeah. MK2, MK3, man. What's to stop them? Yeah, it's, it really, it really <laughs> is what's to stop them. I mean, we already have players that are full MK2 maxed. We had a, there was a few players that were MK2 maxed the same day it dropped. And if any of you are out there now saying, and including Adrian, Adrian, if you're if you're hearing this at any point, you're, I know you're saying, yeah, MK2. If you if you're a championship level player, you can you can compete with them. Yeah, but are you gonna have any fun? I mean, that has to be a consideration. I believe we need to stop saying that phrase. I would like so the, off it. I would at least like the bot, the weapon, whatever is MK2, to have at least some kind of different characteristic about it so that you know that bot is an MK2 bot. You know that weapon is an MK2 bot. Because don't, that you know how the, don't you know how the bot walks towards you? It walks with a sense of, like, it's like a, it's not a sense of urgency. It's like I just got out of bed and I just put my shoes on and I'm about to go out to the paper, but I'm a pimp. And I, that's how I roll. <laughs> Haven't I mean? you noticed it's the music like, changes <laughs> when the MK2 bot gets close to you? The music changes. It gets all funky and it's it starts. Yeah, and then and then after I see the green, after I see like whoever it was with the green magnum or whatever, yeah. tells me that's when the 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 rest of my dialogue is is complemented with that really loud heartbeat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's stress. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Alex is right. You know, MK2. If you got MK2, then maybe you you are no lower than you're no lower than Master League. You're Master League or up. But I, you know, I really uh, and that's a, that that's a good one too. I think there should be a characteristic of it that you can plainly see that way because that and would, players you should would be know. proud to be in it. Yeah, you I should, would you, be. because if if there was a characteristic of it, you would know. Oh my God, MK3 Cossack ECU. Yes. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. But you would be able to know that bot was a, a, a higher caliber than your bot, and it would change the way you approach people. Like the tracer stays in the air a little bit longer 
than yeah. like like the smoke from the rocket or the tracer okay. from the laser. Or I'm counting it down till how long before Jason decides to bring up that goddamn Destrier. <laughs> <laughs> I think Destriers, all the light bots should be able to go. All the ooh, this would be cool. All the light bots when they go MK2 should get like a plus five speed, plus ten speed, or something like that. Oh, God, come on! You know, I, I all the light bot, all the bots should get faster from a, a level 11, 12. Yeah, it's like penalties. 10, 11, 12 should get at least one more fast. Uh, I think yeah, you're right. All point. light bots should be able to go sixty or over, and they should all be able to outrun Splash. Yeah, and but that's all God, of a sudden you got light bots amazing. being played. Everyone, everyone is begging for that. But Clayton, I love that because the Brit bots. If if yeah. for whoever was listening and it wasn't playing back then, if you put a Brit bot, it doesn't even matter if it was the Gareth. Like it immediately put you in what they called the Silver League back yeah, then. Yeah, you got well. That you, was you weren't the able to play. Talking about right? You were, yeah, you weren't able to play in the World League. A hybrid. When was it? When, when do you think that that was? That was, was back. Yeah. That was a year ago. Over a year ago. Well, I mean, do you, you have a reference date? Because so come back in September, uh, October last year. Yeah, we were talking about this earlier, and I went to the the website that has all the updates and in chronological order. And the things that we have completely forgot Shane about behind the scenes. <laughs> what? Yeah, Shane behind the scenes. Yeah, it, it, some of the updates are just preposterous. Like we're we're dealing with issues like what we're complaining about, and we're complaining yeah. about things that we just feel like puts us in a disadvantage. Like the shock trains or the ace, the the, the, the Ansel shields, Wait, like, like like the se- it was like the second or third, maybe fourth update. They were they were fixing the third weapon on the on the patent that wasn't firing. That's what they were fixing. Yeah, and they that's... added they added a new map, and they added the ability to be able, be able to walk over a bridge. Like then, these are the things that they were working on back then. And then they added the league system, and it all went tits up. What was that? that, well, that we was... were we were looking at that list of uh, updates for a reason today. Um, I, Josh caught me for a few minutes this afternoon, and uh, we were looking at the list of updates. We were trying to trying to determine that <laughs> you take yeah. all the players as a whole, you can kind of separate them down the middle, whereas you've got. Before dash and after dash, or somewhere around in there. So we were looking at the updates, and we kind of narrowed it down that where things started to separate as far as War Robots 1.0 and 2.0 was uh, the very first update that started to change things was the Splash update where Tolumbas changed their reload cycle. You remember, Jason, where Tolumbas last, like, February or spring? That was kind of the beginning of I think that, the change I like, for things. I like the fact that they didn't – I mean, I don't know if it's a popular opinion, but I like the fact that you had to wait 20-something 20 20, – what was it, like 23 seconds for them to reload or something like that? So it, it that you, update it, in the first few else, after that. You know? yeah, well, the first couple that. after that, yeah. then we had um, – we had uh, – these changes that were kind of all in a line together. And then we got the permanent black market and dash. And that's kind of where our divider is. Our divider is everything should be back in January when the league system dropped. Uh, No, I don't believe that's, I don't believe that's so as much because until they started to change some of these other factors uh, later and then brought out the new, the newer bots, that's when things to be changed because at when the matchmaker changed, we all just adapted, but we were still running the same setups of Lancelots, Ancelots, Griffins, and Galahads and whatnot. British bots ruled at the time. That's what all ran, but the major changes came around springtime as far as if you talk to somebody now who's grown up in the past four months compared to somebody that's grown up in the past eight months, there's a huge difference. And yeah, all of us that were talking earlier, we were talking about how War Robots 1.0 would be so awesome, and it would be. But then talk to some of the newer players and find out from the newer players, hey, guys, you guys that are newer that grew up recently, do you guys agree with us, some of us that 
War Robots 1.0 kind of deserves its own game and it was kind of awesome? Or do you guys even care about that? Do you just look forward? And we don't we don't hear that as much. Most of our listeners are more experienced. I, I, I look forward because there's no point in looking back anymore. I mean, I've been told by Pixonic personally, there's no going backward. It's not happening. So there's no oh, yeah, point. My brother can dream, man. Can, man reminiscing, man. No, nah, my brothers, brothers don't be classic from Well, music. you make a point, but it's <laughs> going, going to Adrian's videos and, and remembering it like it was. So like all in all, it's really worth it to talk about. I don't know if I go that far, but I, I would say that uh, I think that the point, uh, underlying point is significant, and that is that, that I'd like to know if the OG attitude towards a lot of the overall happenings that are going on is anywhere in line with the newer players attitude, because they grew up with a whole different set of rules as far as how you acquire things, how you uh, pay for certain multiple types of currencies, much less these other, uh, well, what you brought up the whole MM, I mean, they, they don't even know anything about the old matchmaking system. I so would like to know how they, they have feel no about, idea. I would like to know how they feel about Because, you know, what's interesting. I don't feel the way I feel, the way I felt like when I first started playing and it was like the Rhino, the Rhino heyday, and I dropped into a match and I saw all the players run the Rhinos. I mean, I knew that match was going tits up in like seconds. <laughs> but like when Anytime I see Anytime you dashes, see that kind of a coordination, you're always like, oh. Dude. But when I see dashes, I don't, I don't feel that way quite as bad. Like those rhinos back in the old days, man, that was. They were slow, rough. man. So they were slow. To, imagine, imagine but, if the rhino pilots back then were would feel. But you had like, like five people, like five, all five bots in their hangar were all rhinos and crap. Man. And was how crazy. was the death button back then? Was the death button. I mean, you had that one salvo, you dumped that salvo in like a second. And you have to hide for 15 seconds or 18 seconds until you get that salvo back. Yeah, but nothing nothing could compete against it. You you were you, when you when you think about it, like the Ansel Shields were still taking double damage because that bug hadn't really been found out yet. A lot of the most of the other shield bots weren't even around. No one was using Ansels. So yeah, and, that's yeah. his rule. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we've got. Uh, <laughs> We've got this event that's going on that was a little bit fast. I'd like to know if it's going to be every other month like this. That 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 wouldn't be all that exciting. Right. <laughs> yep, it's going to be every other month. Yeah, a new that, event, and then they're but, going to put that big card somewhere else on the screen. It's, it's going to be it's going to show up on every area of the screen, and then the last tag. month is going to show it right in the center, and it's going to cover the fire button. <laughs> Hey now, Papa, Papa, you just brought up your uh, your oh, Schultz, your King God. Day. Uh, I'll tell you. Um, oh yeah, I'd love to make the Schultz, uh, the shoots, the uh, fastest robot in the game. Dude, that thing would be amazing. What if, what if you put a Tempest on there? Because that's even effective up close. You know, you don't lose anything much from that. Uh, the that King, you know, some it's weapons impressive. are just going to have to ADBK? disappear. The Kang Day is weird because it's, it's named Kang Day. Yes, it's and Kang. it's it's, it's like Kang. Trump Tower. You know, it's a it's a it's a symbol. redundant weapon too it's because a, there are other. It's a green projectors. phallic symbol. It's, it's green. And it's, it's horizontal. It's not vertical. Are you trying so to tell me mean? it's a it's a big Godzilla dick? Is that what <laughs> no. you're trying to tell me? <laughs> Keep going, rocking around, so what's the theory, then? Here he has three of them. <laughs> there you go. He's gonna end up on Howard Stern. Uh, <laughs> I'm just speaking, dude. Hey, I'm man. Turn when you shouldn't. Yeah, like an ember shoots. That'd be Schultz. Yeah, Schultz. yeah. May the shoots. Schultz be with you. Well, I, I'm telling you, think about the the <laughs> the the, uh, the tempest on there because even if you're up close, it's going to still deal massive damage. Or far away, you can that still Tempest hook it up. You know, sexy. there's uh, no way around that tempest. It is sexy. Yeah, yeah. You're talking what a hundred thousand a clip? Oh, what you level? know, around in there. Zenith shoots. Oh my sweet Jesus! Just no, just no. The troll but, Zenith shoots. Like, well, the Kang Day to me is a is a redundant weapon because there are other kinetic weapons you in the long Debbie? range category. No, I mean, hold that thought, man. You remember Debbie? Debbie. Yeah. Who? 
I do. Deb, everyone, Deb. Yeah, Debbie. Um, Deb. Oh Deb my Thompson. God, Black Widow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Man, she came out when um, when it was her um, Lottie. I think Lottie was in the match. A couple of other people were in the le- in the match, and Twinkie was Twinkie was on the match. So, so oh, we were. Was, we this were all this in spring. Wolf, right? What's that? Say that again, Jason. Were we were we all in Wolf at that point? Yes. Oh, and that's like she, a year she, ago. she dropped she dropped into a fury with the not the King Day. What was the other one? The, the King three, of the UK. Three, yeah, one. KW. Yes. Okay. And I was sitting in my car, and in my car I had a W. I think it was a W six or a W ten JL Audio twelve. Like, like four feet behind me. In the, the base, I, like, I had yeah, I had my gain, like everything was tuned in, and I hooked, I had it hooked up to my car stereo. She drops in, and she was like, would be considered like a few feet, but in the game, it's like meters, right? Yeah. And she dropped, she hit that fire button, boom, and it your whole car rumble. Freaking car in my rear view mirror <laughs> came off, and it was like, and it was so. Like it was like an like one of those uh, beat um, those tests that you go to like those uh, subwoofer deep shops, <laughs> and it, it was just like it was raw, deep, freaking energy, bro. Like I was like in shock. I've I noticed when, I, when my, I play the game, my foot, and, just for that, when I run it through uh, like my home oh, stereo, awesome. like my subwoofer, uh, there's full range sound there. They're not messing around. They, you I, know, I uh, especially, the, yeah. especially the Tempest. I, I wish I wish the I, I don't think the I, I I like for one I think the Nash Horn name is dumb KWK is a bitchin name Nash Horn I don't like Nash Horn. Nash Horn is well okay better. see these are the two weapons but that I was referring to you've I don't got think redundancy the day really has a has a, a lot of use yes because, so that's why I said there's redundancy here this uh yeah the you've got two kinetic weapons that are long range and they're just only separated by this, uh, uh, reload time and their, their impact damage. And at the time I could see why when they made it, it, it didn't seem so out of place because they're, it's so old and other weapons at the time fit differently. But now if you really want to make that weapon still a viable, then you, you can't just, make it more damage. You have to give it a different tactical advantage so that we have this balance of rock, paper, scissors that we talk to and not rock, paper, scissors, plus a different set of scissors. And so you may have to take its reload time and really get crazy with it, you know, like really bring down the reload time or something. I yeah, it, can, yeah. it could be just way armor precision. It has to be tactically advantaged yeah, and not yeah, just have a hit point. No- there's no point in running those weapons. Like it needs to either, it needs. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys read the Halo books, but they had a, a weapon in the books called the Mac Gun, and basically it was like that huge slug round that when it fired, it just tore through everything. I mean, I, I'm thinking like something like the, those weapons because the bullets. If you think about the barrels of those guns, like the bullets should be absolutely massive. Like those should cause immediate damage to your bots. Like. That should be blowing off legs. Anything that takes half a minute to reload should theoretically make you like touch your toes. I yeah, mean, the case only take like eight seconds. Well, think about think about like the oh, see, uh, the, Fury, the Fury the Fury Thunder, see, yeah. the Fury um, Nashorn uh, King Day, and then what was the other one? The Tempest. There's just those. I'm just dropping those. Imagine like how big those bots are in relation to the size of the cars and the traffic that's that they're walking on. Like the yeah, actual a, map. A good itself. example. A good example is like Dead City on the yeah. left hand side. So when you, you start to fire cars. those those weapons, you think it almost makes that, that bot like fall backwards. Like every time that it fires, it's so much energy, that forward energy that's thrusting whatever the object is back there's going to be some type of deviation from the way that the, me- the mechanics of that bot walking is n- the gate pattern, the heel toe, the heel yeah. toe, the heel toe strike. Is yeah, they, shake, be man. they shake all over the place when you fire those damn yeah. things. Oh, the, the, the glitch with the aiming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you guys know when our new map is supposed to show up? Cause I know there's another one in the making. Have you heard about that? No, no, I, I heard about it, but I do not see it. Okay. Next subject. Uh, <laughs> 
if nobody's heard of it, shit. I don't. That's fine. I know they've got another, oh, another one. Map. Yeah. Thinking you will be vibrating more than old granny. Good lord, we can't touch that subject. Well, okay, Looney Pacific Rim size bots. It's it, it's cool that you bring that up, my mama and the Larry. Uh, oh, and then you're... Alex. Yeah, and we're gonna get to that Alex comment. Uh, <laughs> physics professor Drupy, we're gonna fail physics class. <laughs> well, uh, what the hell did Looney just say? See you, Ryan. Go Pacific back. Go Rim. back to that. How do I go? Oh, Pacific Rim. I was gonna say I can't see the chats. So they're going by really fast. Uh, Pacific <laughs> Rim. They are. They're going. They, I hear. I see one chat, and then it's gone. And I see a chat, and then it's gone. And uh, so I'll have to get used to that. Um, the Pacific Rim. Um, that style, like being inside the bot where you can see out, is exactly where this game is going. Just like the Pacific Rim, it's well, the, the that AR and VR versions of this game are totally going toward cockpit camera angles all over the place, and it's going to be way cool. But um, you're going to start with AR and then go well, into VR. VR. But uh, well, they I know they have it now. It's just you got to have going on. You got to donate. You, well, you got to, you got to have the Ask equipment me. for that, though. You know, and I'm talking yeah. about in the masses. An, an mm. Oculus is very expensive. I mean, so if you want like, to get specific about that crazy shit, they introduced that the iMac Pro will be out today, starting at five grand. <laughs> Damn. But it would oh, be. Oh, Papa, Oculus. Papa. Oh, we're listening, buddy. We're listening. No, you no, know. No. I can't tell you. Like, so we we use the Oculus at work for training purposes. Yeah. The the it it will run on a laptop, but the equipment on the laptop has to be like really really up to date. The Oculus is going to set you back like two to like to five hundred or something like that. Sure. But it's amazing. Like yeah. it it's. I mean, you can for Netflix alone, you can turn your Netflix from a small TV to like your entire freaking wall. It's so amazing. But like being able to play War Robots like in your bot. Oh, oh from a camera angle of the cockpit or that's right busy. above it. You know, or right and directly in front of it, but they're going to have all these different camera angles where you're going to be able to see off to the off to the little corners, off to the sides. Like you're going to see uh, all those the fire effect, and uh, it's going to be oh, like Gundam. Please, all over. somebody help me start start up something somewhere where we can get them to do the tracers in the different colors, because all the kinetic weapons having. Yeah. Like every fifth shot be a tracer and show you what level your weapon is would be so awesome. And it no, would translate to the, to the, the, the next uh, game too, with all the AR and VR, because you'd be able to track your shots. But just imagine if, if you were, imagine if, if you can, you can fire a weapon, but you had to account for the elevation, the speed that if you're going lateral, or if you go yeah. forward back, the different planes, um, where that person's bot, like you're trying to, if you're leading that person into your, into the projectile, the, the weapon that you're firing, you have to account for the speed that that bot is. And you have to basically adjust for the elevation of where that bot is and where you are. So imagine if that played a role in, in accuracy of where you're firing and, and landing that shot. And how you you, you really want to be able to drag your thumb up and down, don't you? I yeah, I mean look at look at how um you know what I mean though you really want that aspect of the game, so you can start to add trajectory. Uh, you yeah, want to be able to I mean, add you want to be able to add trajectory and add uh, angles of up and down and not just side to side. Yes, because if, if you look at if you look at um what's that game Rules of Survival. Mm-hmm. Like you don't know where that person is because there's no label above them showing where the enemy is in relation to where you are. It doesn't even show where your ally. No, it does show your allies if you're in a squad. It, it will show your allies, and it'll show it, like if they're shooting or in a car, if they're running, it'll kind of show you like a like how kind of far away they are in the general direction. Yeah, That's and you it. count for center mass and the most vulnerable points of that person that you're firing at. Like if you're firing at a lance a lot and you have the ability to aim at the legs that are bare, that are just down there dangling, or aim but, center but mass awesome. where their thick-ass shield is, and it's, you're just going to be wasting rounds. You know, like, how amazing would that be? Someone said last week where uh, it was the the uh, target locking. Like, 
new players, they just go in the matches and they just go and then they complain about aiming. And then someone that's more tenure in the game says, ah, you should go into your settings and, and check out, check the lock, uh, target lock button. And then they do that and they can cycle through it. And they're like, oh, that was brilliant. You're like, no, nah, man, that was just common sense. You want to be able to dictate because there's an issue with the aiming. The it aiming is. doesn't account for the distance that the other bot is from the person that's in front of you. So if you're nope. firing at that person, but you logistically say, or um, uh, logic or whatever, logistically speaking, it's more wise to be firing at the other person that's like maybe 100 meters behind the person that's closest to you because the person that's closest to you is being fired on by someone else that you know has as, as Mark II, and that person is a jit like me, and... That you're that the one that's closest to you, and you know that that person gonna be dealt with. So you're gonna be aiming at that hundred, but the target lock system doesn't do that. Hashtag legit like me. No, nah, man, you don't know what I'm saying. So if you yeah. if you have the ability to be able to dictate where those rounds go instead of it doing it for you automatically, man, the world will be a better place. You have less hate on Facebook. Uh, Real talk. Uh, mic drop. Boom. Why'd you go mic drop oh, boom? I, I was like, because yeah, because the mic just stay right here. I was saying, you know, it's the mic just gonna fall. Well, you're dying. You're <laughs> obviously dying for another aspect of skill of the game to evolve, and they're hoping that that comes naturally from the evolution of the bot itself and the extension of their powers that they're being able to come up with all their new little devices of, you know, so, the dash of speed and whatever. So mic drop. I don't think uh, the new. I don't. I don't I don't you think would like you would like another dimension stuff. added to it. Yeah, I don't think the new stuff is encouraging skillful play. It is also that shot train sure is not that I shot train. There is nothing disagree. skillful about that, that. I disagree that the game is skillless because if it was skillless, I would not be bent over backwards every time I come up against Adrian. You know what I mean? <laughs> like if it was well, skillless, now shot trains. It was funny too. Now it's over with. Was, it's done. I was, I was, I was running. I was running. Uh, uh, um, uh, just playing, just solo, trying to get all these tasks done. And I accidentally ran into a Haichi with three shock trains. I'm like, hey, I'm like it's a Haichi with three shock trains. That reminds me of Adrian. It's freaking Adrian. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, Ryan. But, my doc, Hydra. Oh, you son of a! Yeah. I cannot. The, you go there is nothing. Godzilla, Godzilla's yeah. crank yeah. for that there one, buddy. You're Hydra, my ass. Off. There's nothing that pisses you me know off better. You're just trying to poke the bear, damn it. No, That's okay. I, I do have to. I have to chop in with this. I at the end of one of a match, and I, I swear I recorded it. I just I have to find it, and I want to put him on blast because he did a freaking amazing job. I bought it out around like the seven and a half minute mark, yeah, not and before. it was like two of us against all five of the other guys, and we were going to be losing these beacons if these two players on my team didn't stay alive. If they stayed aligned, we were going to win. It was just based on the way that the time was working by the time sure. that he dropped this last person. It's like Larry 1958 or something like that. And he dropped into a Griffin. The Griffin had two Columbuses and two spirals. This cat, when he dropped in, I was like, oh, hell no, nah, man, this sucks. We're going to lose the match because dude is like mix match and, and you're not supposed to mix match you know th that's the unspoken rule you're supposed to look cool have all plasma or have all panada and, you know what i'm saying you had to be rocking it but i'm like man i'm i'm a i'm, a, I'm not going to stay in in his pov in his point of view and i'm just going to roll with him until he dies and what he would do was freaking amazing if a person goes to hide he would go out into the open and then he would shoot the spirals and he would corner the spirals to where they went around wherever that person was and then immediately jump in the opposite direction because that person was going to go into the opposite side to avoid the spirals and ends up getting tagged with a whole salvo with Columbuses. And every time that he did it, 100% effective because it always cycled like that person psychologically has to go in the opposite direction of where they're getting shot from with the spirals. So he used the one weapon to drive him into the other weapon. Yes. That's really, really brilliant. And I have video for this. And then take and a lot of talent. Perfect. And he well, was put patient. it out there so that uh, so I'm sure guys would like to see that. Yeah, get it out there. And uh, I'm going to mention once again, Warboat is promising to get more videos out there of the secret, secret little wormholes that your dashes can dash all the way halfway down. Uh, 
Papa says that he thinks that the shock train should be a light weapon. Uh, tell me what you mean by that, Papa, because I don't – I mean, well, you just – does it's that mean you echo. just – Well, yeah, that's that's why I mean. Can you explain that to me, Papa? I, I, I don't get what you fully mean there, but uh, I'm willing to listen, uh, but only shortly because I – your craziness is not going to rub off on me, man. <laughs> uh, I refuse to allow it to affect me. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I am my own man. <laughs> oh, Jason's feed is the most entertaining it's been all evening. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. I didn't even oh, notice he left. Any, well, we get, we got to get him back so we can wrap up. It's about that time of the night. We've It's been fun. Uh, uh, did any of you that are list, uh, that are chatting... Did any of you uh, listen to the little musical, uh, the little musical experiment I did? Uh, it had nothing to do with war robots. It was just music and me talking. And so, if you got the chance, I thought it was just mostly for like our drive time people that li- need podcasts to listen to something else. So I was having a little fun, and it, I just put that together. Have you played with that uh, app yet? No, I had not. I had no. Uh, I had it. It, it. It's um. So guys, we are going to be doing. Oh yeah, say what he uh, like, tell him what you're talking about because this is interesting. So Shane, he was he was uh, always actually both of them, Jason and Shane, know a lot about music and the great work that they do at the intro and and tying everything up and with the music and stuff. So um, Shane came up to me and, or you know, messaged me and asked me to check out this uh, this particular app called Station Head. And Station Head was the um, it's an app that was just being was recently launched that allows you to become your own radio station and to be able to talk to whoever it is that's out there listening and they can also participate. So I created one and he created one. Um, and so it's like a lot of people that just randomly get on their their phones when they're at a concert or something and playing a set and then they get on and they talk with the people that's on the guests and whatnot. I think that was like freaking amazing to be able to actually do that, to share the music that you always listen to, that you like to listen to, and also connect with people live, like literally live, like a like a radio station, like a real radio station. Oh, I would be great. Happen. I'd love to be able to do that live. I, I you know, I, this was kind of yeah. like with the podcast, and you know, in the early, the first time we did stuff, it was just, let's try it. Let's see what happens. So uh, I'd love to be able to do a live show like that where people called in and I uh, I could still even play music in in between. I have a vast selection of music. I have a lot of really good high quality music. I have a lot of uh, 24-bit music, which is high definition music. It's straight from the studio. Uh, CD music is 16-bit. Now, even if I were to put, when I convert this to a podcast, it converts it down to 16-bit is and, it because and, it's digital or not? Well, the the podcast converts everything to two fifty six uh, kilobytes, um, but the source is so nice because of, of the way it's EQ'd. Um, it's EQ'd right from the studio, or uh, the same EQ they use for vinyl. Uh, mm-hmm. I've just been real happy with it. But uh, got a huge collection of that stuff. But so I always have a lot to uh, choose from. But yeah, welcome back, Jason. Uh, Oh, he's uh. At the, yeah. So now uh, we can't. We can't even hear him now. Uh, oh, am I not? Now you're live, bro. You're live. Oh, am, I live? am I live again? Yeah. What do you listen okay. to when you play? Huh? What? What do so, I listen to? Well, both of you. Uh. Well, every once in a while, I'll listen to music, but usually I just listen to the game sounds, and that hurts, Ryan. That really hurts, man. What, the yeah, the shot chain dash is is. You, I, I, I went up against Vice with the Shock Train, where they they came at me with just a whole running. Like, there must have been all six of them were Shock Train Jashes. I don't, I, I don't I, know I, if they lost a bot. I wish they all, I don't, all, I don't, I don't, I don't see Vice. I don't see Vice anymore. Period. Yeah, yeah it's do probably I. been I two weeks since I've seen. Like, I wish that I was. I wish that I had the ability to to relay messages to them when they drop in like that. Are they even playing? I was seeing I, I haven't them every seen night. Vice. I, I was seeing, seeing them every night, and I don't think any of them are playing. I don't know, man. That's a good question. I've not That's seen. A, I know you know. You know, Colton's not. Yeah, we know Colton's not. Badass man. players, man. I'm telling you, well, they're man. amazing. They're right. ab- regardless of what bot they're using, they're amazing players. Damn, I keep going up against uh, Rice Patty Daddy. 
Do you see the XX? Yeah. Is that who it is? Man, a, every time Stone I Stone Raiders swooned, are some killer I get, players, I get man. swooned, dog. I'm like, I'm like this. You know what's really disgusting? And I just lay down, and I'm like, I just want Mr. Man just to show me a move. You know Jason, if you say. What's really disgusting about that clan is. Oh, they're so is, freaking good. I mean, oh, my CDXX God. The XX is an iOS clan. So yeah. they're really, really high up in, like, activity points. And if you click on their clan, they only have, like, 24 members. Oh, really? And, but, oh, yeah, but their activity is huge. Huge. How do they do that? Like, how do you get that? Because they, they all have like probably over two thousand activity points every single week. But that's the lot. thing is that like individually, okay, right I think I play. No, I know your question, like buddy. No, I know your question. I know exactly what you're talking about. You start to wonder what these people do and they, how do they, they have play that the time? Okay, you know, okay. because uh, I, let me, I just I hit I had almost a thousand activity points this week, almost a thousand, mm-hmm. and that was you played a lot. That was a lot. That was a few games. Throughout the day, maybe a game or two in the morning, and then like they have probably five hours a night or six hours a night every single day. Sure. My wife CDXX. is so tired of this game. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, my wife said that too. She's like, Man, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw your mother punch in Well, it, it, it's so it so reminds me back in the days where I was uh running through like Whenever we would go mountain biking out west, out in Colorado and stuff, we you know we'd take several days to go cross country riding or downhill or whatever. Uh, like Matt and I would just pack up and take off, man, and and we'd go to all these new places. And you'd be driving for hours through the mountains and through places that were so vast, and it just kept going. And mm. you would see houses after houses and ranches and. Just civilization, although you were out in the middle of the wilderness somewhat, civilization never stopped. Mm -hmm. And we kept thinking to ourselves, you know, we're 45 minutes from a town. And we kept thinking to ourselves, what do these people do for a living, man? How Mm -hmm. do they get, you know, how is it that they're able to, are there that many people that aren't in Florida retired, you know, but... You start to think in that same mindset where you're like, how do these people find the time to do this? What's their secret? And man, in the game, you just got to figure it's pretty basic. All they're doing is playing the game. Yeah, and that's all they're that's doing all, all the time. So, the okay, so I didn't find CDXX, uh, but I did find Vice. Mm-hmm. They're sitting at 57. Their clan members have dropped down to 25. From thirty six, from thirty six, and they their thing says no longer accepting applicants. So I think, I think they're kind of getting a little burnt out. Maybe I tell you that you might think to yourself, well, that's the end. That's the sign of the end times, right there. And although it's sad and it is a change, oh, See, I yes. still well, I still want to know what actual numbers are, other than what I can find on like App Annie when I find. That how many approximately how many downloads there are approximately uh, t- between three and ten thousand downloads a week still of the game depending on if they advertise in certain places, but you still have several thousand a week, which still comes out to be you know a couple hundred thousand a year. And if you look at just like the eighty twenty downloads. rule, eighty twenty rule. Mm-hmm. Like let's say eighty percent of them are returning players, and twenty percent are new players. You know, it, and that's that's a that's a conservative number, maybe. Well, I, I'd right? really love to know what is available. I've I'm, I've deleted the game and downloaded the game again, and I probably have done that close to twenty, thirty times. Why is that? Whether it was because of compatibility issues with the phone that I was using, and I would you know un uninstall it and reinstall it to see if it worked. I found yeah. out that that was it wasn't it was too lag too laggy. Then I would try a different device. It would just constantly be stuff like that. And and you think about like all the the people. No, no, think about all the all the uh, YouTubers that are making videos. When we were right when we were in, I think it was Wolf. Back then, I was like, damn, I I just considered making a YouTube video or yeah, a, a video. <laughs> I remember and, your first video. <laughs> yeah, tea bag in time, but. But if you think about it, like during that time, there were a lot of how-to videos. There were a lot of navigating 
navigating the ins and outs of of the game. Now it's like majority of it is gameplay and talking about the new stuff that's unobtainable to the people that are new in the game. Whether it's because they don't have the resources or they're just new and they're not at the level to where those resources are or the uh, the weapon or the game in-game resources are not available to them yet. So they're still trying to figure out what's the best place to use their Destrier on a map with two freaking mollets, level two. You know what I'm saying? Like how to shoot yeah. somebody up close with long range weapons. There's not a well, lot of w- videos like and that. That, right that, that kind of leads to the point that I was talk I was yeah. leading up to with the changes. Good point. Um, Good point. I wanted to know actual numbers of who's leaving, who's staying and all that, because I want to know just how healthy the system is, the back of active players. I would love to know that because I want to know, even though it's sad that someone like Colton, the Blitherin's no longer playing, he's more famous. And people that have been around more are more famous, so that we have heard of them. Is the is the outgoing number equal to greater than or lesser than the incoming number? And the outgoing is because, so much more or less. I don't know. I want to know what they are. I, I, I agree level, with though. you. I agree that's with you guys. A, Go ahead. But that's at our level, though. Our frustrations are we're, we're comparing it's what we went through from day one in the game. It's what we're going through now in the game mm. and all the, the seasons in between. The things that we dislike, the things that we like, whatever, the community, whatever, like all those different things are, are, are affecting our the way that we perceive that number being high or low, right? For the players mm. that that are coming up, and there's a lot of them, because there's always maybe a lot of them, um, they don't necessarily get into clans. They may not necessarily be on Facebook. How many people that you know that play the game that, that that's why i want to know active numbers and, and what well, is it, or even vice, okay so what my question what i was i i went digressed on too much but i wanted you to know where i was coming from is is the perhaps not death of but the the downward spiral i guess or the the slow downward of vice is this natural is because someone else is going to take their place. We'll have more new famous hey, this or that. If there's an inflow of players equal to or greater than the outflow, then this is natural. It's just another clan that will be coming in. Is that is that yeah. what we're seeing? We're talking just human psychology, basic psychology 101, developmental psychology, abnormal psychology, psychology 101, Pavlov's series, salivation, Maslow's theory of, uh, of hierarchy and needs, all that, all those different things, right? Now we're looking at just Sigmund Freud, sex and aggression. You have a bunch of players that are led by the, is it the Ib? Id? Id. Ego. ID. Yeah, it was it. Yeah, I think I think it is that. Um, mm-hmm. Where it's a it's a primal need for Mimi to be constantly on top, to be the alpha male, the unstable, ungrounded one. I am yeah. the strong like ape, that person. I can conquer everything. That's to fill ego. the void. To fill the void. And then they get into a clan that's number one, that wins every single match. Average damage is, what, 1.9 million. Average kills, 11. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Well, a- average win rate, 98. Average, yeah. And then when they, when you have all of those types of people, and this is just like corporate America, one, I mean, corporate America everywhere in life. If they you have too off many of, their- of those people all in one place, they're going to clash and they're going to go out their separate ways and create their yep. own tribes. That's just yep. what happens. Yeah, that's what happens. It's like, so, uh, it's like uh, you can even trace that into history. Like, like, yeah. So, okay, so let's take Colton. Colton wasn't actually the leader of Vice, but you could call him like the the, 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 the leader. If you yeah. ask him, he was the, he was a PR, the lobbyist. <laughs> you could yeah, say. yeah, yeah. So, so when Rome, when when Alexander died, and and, and Greece had those basically those four generals that were vying for control of the kingdom when Alexander died. The four generals, instead of coming together and electing a new leader or electing one of themselves, they couldn't handle that that gap. <laughs> Don't do drugs, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> that, that hurt. Ooh. That hurt. Oh, we got to drop it on there, man. That okay, hurt. So Shane has a medical reason why. Yeah, why, why, are you, why are you going to call me this? It's tobacco, dog. It's tobacco. But uh, I have no the idea. Four, so, okay. <laughs> so the four, the four generals. Anyway, 
they <laughs> is, instead of coming together. So I you like that one. So uh, thank you, dude. Thanks, man. <laughs> so instead of coming together, they split the kingdom into four halves. And each went their separate ways. And that's that's what's going to happen every single time. Like, you get four powerful people together, or uh, they're going to, they're not going to come together and stay together. They're going to break apart and go their own way. It's, mm-hmm. it's history. <laughs> yeah. History no, that, with Mr. Yeah, Higgins. I, I see that happening. And I see that happening across the board because you it have, happens everywhere. I mean, think about like all of the resources. You got the shiniest shields, you got the shiniest sword, you got. Got the shiniest breastplate you got the shiniest helmet and then the other dude is like man real war it doesn't even matter what it looks like but in this game it does because yeah. that the what it looks like is what damage it does and the shiny beautiful objects ring in your ear like dog whistles and then you know you're about to get tagged with some purple laser and you're like where the hell did the laser come from and you look to your left and right and it, you don't even know where it came from so you're like who <laughs> shot me at a pink Floyd concert you peek, yeah like, who shot know, me right. so you peek around the corner you're like which one of y'all shot me and then the one with the shock train says i didn't shoot you and then the zeus gets you and then the shock train gets you and then everyone's like 90 percent of the time <laughs> i turn around from being shot it's from right, teen, teen right. machine <laughs> them, them damn things hurt my ears man have you ever I've, had the, the music yeah, loud in your head and in the in the headphones, and then yeah. someone's like, and then that loud Ooh, pitch. Like, I'm like, sir, can you please turn down that thing? That thing is on your shop please, sir, sir, sir. <laughs> Do you have any great coupon? <laughs> that, that weapon. Put that, that weapon, man. Purple Jeez. shit away. Put that purple shit away. Uh, and somebody was typing earlier, and you're exactly right. They shouldn't even let that thing out of the test gate without knowing that was overpowered. I mean, come on. Of course. of course. We were talking. I was talking From to you, uh, the boys. Well, yeah. I, Josh and I brought it up uh, today a little bit. It, it has made the Columbus uh, uh, just a, a, a yesterday weapon. It's no That's longer weird. viable. It's just no. spanked the Columbus. Uh, the Columbus was really, you know, before the shock train, you would consider the Columbus. And now, because of the shock train, you don't. I mean, the Tolumbus. I think the Tolumbus was out the door before the shock train because of the Ansel yeah, buff. I still was Columbus able to can't. use it. I was still able to use it, especially on that on that uh, dash bot because you could stay out of range pretty nicely with it and hide yeah. easily at 500 meters. But, you know, now with, you've got the shock train, not only, you know, well, I don't have to go into what it does. You guys know it. It's just too much. And, and it's. It's gotten rid of another silver weapon that you can no longer use. Oh man, I, all I whenever I get killed by a shock train, I wish that there was a like a default reaction button or something I can hit when I die. Like when I go oh, into like no, and then like a middle finger just lays there, like hovers <laughs> there, and like a little like a little plume of smoke, just just for a little bit, like my ghost, and then I slowly dissipate. That's what the little and boss was supposed to be. Suck it, shock train <laughs> monkey. <laughs> that little self-destructive boss supposed to be your little middle finger. Like, run up and explode in their face. Man, it, man, everyone that I see running shock trains, man, I, I wish I had shock trains. I really do. And I, I, I'm i jealous. What can I say? I'll just be real. I'm just going to get down to the root of it. I'm jealous. But I'm going to still talk shit. Hey, <laughs> shock trains are like, like Kevin Hart talking smack to so like, like all the big dogs in the gym. And it's like, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you with a little voice. I'm going to get you, dog. I'm gonna, you know what I mean? Like, that's how he talks. And he's yeah. really small. And then right when everyone starts coming out to the gym to get him, he runs behind Debo. <laughs> it's like, get him, dog, get him. Yeah. <laughs> that's what people are running stock trains, man. I hear Kevin Hart's voice saying that. That's what I do. Oh, Lord. Man, man I freaking hate that. Weapon. I, I got that one. So I got bad, one. Man. Oh, <laughs> I've got one. The shit that goes through your mind during the game never <laughs> ceases to amaze me, dude. Why do you? Why do you think? Why do you think? Because <laughs> the stuff that goes through your head during the game That's is always so live messed commentary. up. Live commentary sucks for me because I'm like, like your head wants to make sense of shit at a different level than some of us. <laughs> it, it, it's 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 pretty impressive. Uh, uh, All right, sick. we got to wrap up the show. It's about that time. I mean, we can hang out and talk for a while longer because uh, is your is Amber home yet? Yeah, she got home. 
Right, right, so we got we got to get we've been on here over an hour plus, but uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty fun. You know, uh, we'll get better at doing this. Uh, and uh, would you prefer to be killed? My shock train. Uh, either way, your tits up. Like either way, it's just gonna hurt. I'd rather get. <laughs> I'd rather get shot by a Zenith, Nork, and Natasha because that dude had skill. I am not. Yeah, that's okay. There's but I am not scared of Zeniths in the that. least. And he uh, Zeniths, if you want to get, you want to avoid a Zenith, walk forward. Not really. Not anymore. Not, not anymore. Not, not nearly as, not nearly Unless as Unless you're in a real slow bot. I, 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 I don't fear them. Which is majority of them. It's still viable though. Like it's, it's not, not that, that I'm sure now. I can still get hit by them, but I don't fear them. I've been killed by a few Zenits lately. Same thing with the Hydra. Unless I'm really low on health and I'm oh, real just, far just, away you know. and I have, I'm, you know, like on the moon map is different. Somebody with a Hydra can really be a real, real rat and just hide. But uh, it's, it, you know that once you get pummeled by a bunch of the Hydra, if you're not too far away from them, just keep running at them. I always wondered Keep running at why the people who Don't take a full no. yeah, I, I always wondered why people who would take a full salvo in the face would then hide if unless they're just that low on health. But you take a full or a half salvo and then you go ahead and hide. What for? They're out. They're out of ammo. God. Go get them. No, nah, you know that's what the I point, mean, though, because Hydra's reload pretty fast. They're going to be firing missiles at you again before you know it. You don't chase the hydras. You don't. That's the whole maybe you psychological. Do. That's the psychological <laughs> effect that they have, like with the geckos and the hydras. Like they want you to chase them, to come out, do stupid stuff you know you shouldn't be doing, and die. Like you have to ignore them. Is that it, Ryan? Is that is that is that the the fear you put into Jason? I get pissed off. Like there I think are times you got, where I know Ryan, I shouldn't. You got, but it, you I got him definitely after. talking about it. You're in his head, buddy. You're definitely in his head. Would it be messed up if, if on the Hydra spiral, uh, the uh, Griffin, where when you fire the weapon, the rockets go and they find you, but they don't hit you. They just circle around you until the person lets off the fire button. <laughs> so so that person holds the fire button for like that 11 cool. seconds. They just keep circling the person. How bad that w- that would be, like psychologically, to that person that's that's about to get yeah, hit. You never it's know what's going to happen. Like and it, 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 out. Boom! 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 boom. <laughs> it'd be kind of like if you, when you get closer to death, like you'd have like l- fluids start squirting out the side of your bot and stuff. Like, like hey Ryan, <laughs> yeah, like a trigger people with it. Yeah, it's like uh, in Mo Money when Marlon Wayne's and Damon Wayne's were at the jewelry store. He was like, "You just buzzing around in my ear, just buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> I can do that way too well. <laughs> ah, that spirals to me, man. They just zooming around and then they hit you, and then you like. Boys, you uh, <laughs> I'll tell you though, they, they, the hydras are the. I think the damage is good on them. They're just too damn accurate. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. That Ryan, that's the only thing that pisses me off about them. You know, I, I'd give them more come up and uh, you know, I'd be like, yeah, whatever, hydra, but. You get a little shitty about it because all you do is push the button. I mean, I mean, I, come on! I mean, like to hide from these things, I'm having to copulate with every freaking wall I see, and I mean, really get in there and give it something, or else they're still gonna hit you. Yeah, I, I think that's a better pilot than a than a uh, shock train, honestly. Because well, well, the time you see them on dash bots, so they're they're, they're dashing out, tagging you, and then and rolling. Because at least have- the shock train guy has to get. See the a lot of the problem with the hydras is people just sit back and do nothing. Don't. Take I'm not talking about those stuff. types of players. I'm talking about the ones that are actually that can actually work dating, across leading, the field. What's the so that, aggravating about it, guys, is there's potential there. There's definite potential. You could make the hydra a skill weapon, and I know you're like, well, you bake it around corners, but all you got to do is just, you know what hit the button and kind of move it a little bit and it hits you no matter what. So I, I just wish that there was a, some way to do have a little bit more of a skill. Oh, I know you're good. Right? I know you're good. Do it. Uh, yeah. When you're in your Hydra, you just take hey, a vacation, right? That's let, all. Hey, do you guys have a, a Griffin Hydra Griffin spiral? I don't even own, I think I own one Hydra because oh. I owned it because I actually won it. 
but I've never bought a Hydra with my workshop. Coins. So maybe maybe you can buy some spirals with your extra silver, some spirals, uh, maybe even do a spiral patent, buy four of them, level oh, one. Dude. I don't enjoy No, 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 we all, no, seriously, we need to do a, like a like a full squad. Oh, God. Of just Hydras and spirals and record that. We do. I'm telling no. you. No. No, it's a I'll yes. It, it could it. be a yes. I mean, what, what if it was a yes? What if I'm not know doing it was that. I'm what? not. I'm not leveling that bullshit weapon, dude. Sir, we are having fun here. You need okay. to exit the conversation. I this is CB. five destriers. Okay, so Ryan's in spirals. <laughs> no, no, we need more than two. I'm we not doing two. that. I've got Sir, two at level seven. Okay. I think two spirals at level seven. Shane, less of the judgment and more in the ingredients. Jason, we're on to something. You and I. We are here. I am, I am, I am in defiance we, because you know you're gonna make. We should that just troll, that troll hangers. Not taking troll the hangers. time to do that. No, no it's not. Furious in it. Sir, I'm talking. You need, to, no, okay, you were my good side. You're using the word troll. It's not a troll. We're having fun. Okay, we're fun. <laughs> okay. And Shane, yes. Keep it, zip it. Ryan, where are you at? You got to hook you. <laughs> <laughs> got to have brother man out. Just got ditched. This got yeah. ditched. He's like, that's. It went from nine to eight. <laughs> <laughs> Click. <laughs> He's like. No, no, I'm gonna give a whole hanger all them. All, all right, right. Uh, would you guys please say medium. what you want to say and get us out of here so that uh, Amber say doesn't hate us? Because we like we like having the support of the other half. Yeah. All right, this was fun. Uh, I we'd like to be able to add as many functions as possible, so I we got can two level seven spirals. Ooh. Oh God. So we can. Uh, communicate with you guys as much as possible and get people involved as much as possible. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, Looney just mm. made a really good point. Please. So, okay, one of us has to have a gecko patent. Lord and, knows I've got gecko. And that one, that bot is the actual laser pointer for us to shoot whoever is pointed at. Bam, how about you, boy? Brilliance is in works. Brilliance is in works. And recording it? And we're going to from different, different perspectives. perspectives. Yes. It yeah. smells like brilliance. Yeah. It smells yeah. like it. Yeah. <laughs> Very brilliant. <laughs> and then and they come out like in uh, Purple Rain. You guys want to play a game? <laughs> purple Rain. <laughs> oh, you want to play a game? We have that on vinyl. Purple Rain? Yep. We have an original. Uh, uh, got, uh, original pressing. I've got, uh, I've got the Jimi Hendrix collection on vinyl. And I've, then I've got the ultimate Barry Manilow himself. I have, I you have several what? metal. Uh, that, ba Barry, that, I have several. Uh, what is it, Barry that hurts, uh, White? Ryan. That really hurts. I want to, I want to, I want to kill your doc with my doc. But my yeah, doc what's discourages. Ooh, on I'll it, bring so. my doc to the party. Who crossed the line with Brian? I'll bring my three docs. Here? I'll bring my three docs to the party. I have I'm three. A, what? I have three docs. You have three docs. I have three. And the uh, Jesse. Dang. I ran my uh, my Doc Columbus yesterday. I was gross. The Doc <laughs> Columbus last night. And I was, was like, this this bot sucks so bad. The Doc Columbus? The Doc yeah. Columbus. Because the, the Columbus are awful. They're not good. Like, what the hell? Were they neutered? Yeah. The, well, it's because they, were slowed de they slowed them down. So it's why? because they slowed them down. That they, to make Columbus relevant again, they need more rockets. Like, like more, more rockets. Just like more, just more. No, okay. And the other thing was, um, Shane. I don't know. If, I think that's this is what you said about the um, increase in the capacity, or Looney said that. Increase yeah, Looney said that on the Mola. The Mola, that was Looney. And I was running them on the on the hoverbot, and as you could tell, like they the salvo only lasts like it's like reload. Is that it? No, I mean I'm I'm exaggerating, but it's like. It's nowhere it's, near what it ought. Ooh, Frank concert. Zappa on vinyl. You know that's I have so I have a huge Zappa collection. I started to, to collect Zappa in '93, and that's when he started to remaster all of his CDs. So most of my Zappa is actually on CD when those came out. I had probably had 20, 25 of them. Yeah, uh, there's there's there's, there's about sixty of those, but uh, yeah, Zappa. What is what is, what is Zappa? Frank Zappa, Zappa is prolific songwriter. What's that word? It's, mean? it's part prolific. of that uh, that uh, musical prolific. Uh, uh, basically, meaning like legendary. 
um, extremely uh, Hall of Fame. Yeah, Hall of Fame. Extremely uh, uh, influential. He was mm-hmm. like one of the best guitarists, like ever. But his songwriting and compositional skills were absolutely phenomenal. They were amazing. He could write a song and a lot write, of humor. Write, yeah, a lot of humor write, and write for uh, many different instruments. Like it, a it, lot of his works were then made into classical music. Yeah, yeah. Like he could pick up an instrument and 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 kind of get a feel for it and compose with it extremely quickly and compose complex musical arrangements in multiple genres. Yeah, multiple yeah. genres. He was a, he was he was he was like a Mozart, amazing. He he helped invent the programmable keyboard. Oh, that's cool. Uh, although that was just one of the instruments you played, but I. Yeah, he will blow uh, your mind. His, yeah. <laughs> his 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 first uh, album started to appear like 67, 66, yeah, uh, like and uh, all the way up until like, he died in 90, 90, 90, uh, 90, like middle 96. 90s. He like died of yeah. cancer, didn't he? Yes, prostate cancer. Yeah. Anyway, I I I I started to get into him around then, and uh, started to understand him. Everybody thinks he's the strangest thing in the world, but well, he was reclusive. Most of most of them didn't know of him very well. A lot of people thought that he was high all the time, and he never did drugs. He was very, very eccentric. Yeah, yeah. And anyway, that I I put on I put a Frank Zappa tune on that musical thing that I did the other day on the podcast channel, and uh, and I I think I've re- referenced Zappa before, so that's why somebody made that in the chat. Gotcha. All right, y'all. Oh, Zappa out. Have a fabulous evening, y'all. And I'll probably edit out all that Zappa talk, guys, because no one wants to hear that. It's amazing. But yeah, no one no one wants to hear that. Thank you to all the five people who are still left. <laughs> as soon as we start yeah. talking about spirals and hydras, people start leaving in flops. As soon as we quit making Droopy laugh, Emma said, I'm out of here. Emma was gone forever ago. Yeah, because she, she was drinking that tea. But she was drinking uh, that, tea. that was great. You know that tea? I've been no. drinking that tea. Yeah, that Droopy, drinking. take us out of here. I thought I did. All right, y'all. Have a fabulous night. Peace.